What's good guys and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do the reverse trend. Let's get straight into the video. So you get your clips ready, yeah? I'll be putting more clips of course. What you do first, you need to make to make sure you select all of them and put frame blending on. You press twice here and you got frame blending on, it makes the video smoother and when you put twixt or time remap, that's basically what you need to do for every edit. So for the for the first uh, for the first clip, then you press Control Shift Alt D as you can see like this. Cut the clip in half. Then you want to pre-compose. So either you right click and press pre-compose, and of course select this and this, or you can do Control Shift C and same thing. Then you want to right click on the layer, go to Time, enable Time Remapping. Then you go to the end and cut it. Okay. Then you want to go to not the middle, but just a bit more right to the middle. See where it says 10, I guess. Then you need to put this, select this, and put it here. Then you want to make it go back a bit. So you go on the time here, and you hold it, and put it just, drag it just to the left a bit. Yep, that's good. Now you want to go to the end, select this, Control C, Control V. Then we. Just very bad as you can see and that's why we have graph editor you click on time remap here then you press F9 graph editor then you need to copy this graph this here this here and like this then you have this then it's the reverse then you do it for all of the clips. Let me just do it fast. And then you have this. Clips like these where they lag, that's what you don't want to do. So we're going to delete this. You can, you can replace the clip, of course, but I'm going to delete this. Then you want to do zooms, so you can do with scale or with uh, s underscore blur mode curves and I'm going to use s underscore blur mode curves. So you want to go here to the z dist, keyframe it and go where the middle graph is, see the middle keyframe, sorry, here, you're going to put 0.75, it depends of course on the, on, on the clip, if it's very zoomed in put, do like 0.8 but in this situation I'll actually do 0 0.7 and the same thing you go on this keyframe and control C control V and basically do the same graph as you did with time remap but now it's reversed so what you want to do is go here you want to do this one here and this one here and this one here and this one here basically the same thing but reversed then what you have and as you can see, it's not centered. That's why you track the clip, but I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial on this right now. So you can, I'll just do this. See? And put motion blur, and you can copy this by press by selecting it. Uh, control C, Control V, and same thing. And of course you can add a shake, you can add panning, you can add whatever you would like because it's your edit. But that's 